Well, we did the first album, the Rebel Flags of Whiskey album, at the house there in Wakaga. And we did it all, you know, all at the house. Basically, that album we did, as soon as we'd write a song, pretty much we'd record it. But this, uh, we did the first class down in Austin. And that, that came out pretty good, too. I'm pretty happy with that one. It's a little bit overproduced for our taste. But that's kind of what happens when you get other people involved, you know, they, you get other other opinions going on. The reason we're doing this one out in Granberry is because Johnson's folks got a house out there. Right on the river, out in the country, away from everything. They got a big vaulted ceiling. The, the, the house is perfect for the sound. We're recording like they got big vaulted ceilings, big badass, uh, master bathroom where we we did all my vocal tracks in the bathroom there and it sounds great it's just a lot easier it's, real, it's, not, it's only an hour away it's, a, it's more convenient we're all about getting out on the road I, I know nowadays that's I mean, you have to get out there and play in front of people but that's just what we love to do so we want to <coughs> Anytime we can get in front of new people and new faces, we're all about that shit. Let's love to the masses. Spraying it on faces. I'm really excited about this, this album. So far, what we've got sounds really good. It's got that real raw, live, live feel to it. We've been playing the songs for a while now, live, so that helps. You know, like I was saying before, something hurts I was saying before uh, about the whole writing a song and recording it. You don't really get to work out all the kinks, like playing it live a bunch of times. You get to feel for it. You know? Some shows are better than others, but you really work out all the, the problems and stuff that you don't like. Like, My Prison State of Mind is one of the songs on First Class Wide Trash. Like, for the longest time, we didn't never, we never really play it live. And I couldn't figure out why we didn't ever play it live, but me and Johnson kind of got put our heads together on it and he wasn't real happy with the lead in it and he, he didn't really feel comfortable writing something for it because he thought it just didn't need it. So it took us like two years to figure that out. So now when we play it live it sounds really good because it was just fucking rocking. There's no lead in it. The, the lead kind of took away from the whole that thick feel and that thunderous feel that we needed. So we gotta finally work that kink out, you know.